in the previous lesson we learned about WebAssembly export and calling C function using JavaScript in the browser. So in this lesson then we see the opposite calling JavaScript function from our C code or C library or WebAssembly module to be specific as first a basic example. Let's say we want get double number function to lock its output to the browser console instead of returning it which would of course require this function to be called and cancel look tightly which is where the important objects come into play export bring functionality out of our WebAssembly module and import bring functionality in our module or remove this log message receiving the functions return at the moment and then import console dot log logging into our web assembly will pass that incentive streaming method and add a second argument imports to find that module object constant import equals an object which is very importantly a module to hold these imports you will most of them see this module named env as the module default environment module imported by the web assembly sitting on the module the name of the important function as console.log and head over to our c code version fiddle where we will have to tell c about the existence of the newly imported function if you are not too familiar with c we can tell c about a function by declaring what known as function header this is essentially just a description of a function without the logic so to define our newly imported function console log which is a javascript console dot log create a function console log which takes a single argument of type integer and returns nothing void of course cancel out log is capable of handling string objects and any other data types but as we have discussed before we can look work directly into the integer and the float will look over our string however that's all we need to tell c about this function existence so next let's implement it in this get double number function instead of returning this double number pass it into a console log meaning it should be logged directly to the browser via console dialog of course change the return to void as we are no longer returning anything Note this is all done and now we have to this new import declaration in our compiled assembly text module with that env module as a source exactly we declared it download this update the existing program and wasn't in the project and with this console log already removed let's also change the number to 33 just to make look it more obvious restart the server head on to browser reload there you have it it's 66 or the double log string into the console using console.log from our compiled WebAssembly module as before when implementing our a module we can list all the module in our module with a wasn't module restart the server reload the browser and we got the single import list it again with some details as to the structure of the import function on in the module named console log okay so we see that working with number is easy in WebAssembly but of course as some point we will have to access string so back to our c code in wasm fiddle change console log to num log make it more exclusive for char being character pointer and indicated by asterisk with a message name pointer simply meaning this argument won't actually hold a string as we think of javascript or any other language terms but rather than a pointer to a location in a memory where the string or the char is located or stored a familiar concept to anyone with any previous c experience if not however don't worry too much about that but this simply know that when you see a pointer type meaning followed by an asterisk this is it telling us where to go and leave this value it will make more sense in a minute then to use this new function which we'll still have to declare in our imports i will create a new export call function called create with no new return but all this function will do is call string log with the string hello from c so essentially console.log in the browser but passing it a c string of char type pointer which is of course not supported by webassembly 
and this time notice very importantly that our text format play in our WebAssembly memory a new piece of data flow from C which is of course that string so we are assembly automatically added the string to our memory object and what we are going to log out is a pointer to a memory location this should now start to make some sense but let's see what we get build that download replace that update our import to reflect those new function console log becomes num log with that new string log also pointing to console log, log. restart the server head over to our browser reload so now let's execute that new greet function see what we get logged in the console wasm.instance.export.greet which logs out 16 not quite the message we are expecting but rather position of the third string in our web assembly memory object in the next lesson we will show how to read that string from memory using the memory location so see you guys then